What's up, savages? Thank you for uh, for those of you that have been following the video series here on how to model the Mandalorian helmet. So far, it was an exciting experience making this helmet. Learned a lot about topology and modeling overall. I've actually gone on and made an MF Doom uh, face mask after making this a project here. All right, so up next, we're going to make this back part here. No idea what that is. But first, we're going to fix uh, this part here of the helmet, the jawline or whatever you want to call that right there. Uh, so currently right now we have it flat and we're going to fix that up. But if you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Any interaction will uh, greatly help the, uh, the Google, sorry, the YouTube analytics, uh, the YouTube algorithm and help me get more viewers. So uh, enjoy the ride. Okay, so if I look at this right here, it looks like a cube. So that's obviously a cube right there that I can start with. Then I can use something else for this pattern. Uh, it's kind of hard to see right here, but there's also, um, it's not empty here. It's more of this uh, shape here, this geometry. It's right there. It's just kind of hard to see from this angle. So first, what I probably want to do is straighten out the, um, the bottom part here. It's obviously it's not flat. It uh, curves down a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select the helmet here. <clears throat> Tab key. I want to make that plane visible there. There we go. Shift Z for wireframe. All right. And let's uh, start out with this end over here, vertex selection. And let's select uh, these right here. And then O for proportional editing. GZ, we're going up. Maybe a little bigger. Going up. Got the club going up on a Tuesday. You'll remember that song. All right, there we go. Maybe rotate it a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to just freehand these right here. GZ. Now I'll turn off the proportional editing tool. GZ, we're going up. Around there. GZ. There we go. GZ. There we go. GZ. And I'll worry about that part later. There we go. And this part's way down there. Let me see one for front view. Is it still going to be there? Cool. All right. And I can see that it's starting to taper off right there. And what's over here? GZ going up. There we go. Rotate it a bit. And then these right here. GZ. There we go. GZ. Too far. There we go. GZ. That's good ish. GZ. GZ. There we go. So that looks pretty good there. Maybe make these a little more straight here. GZ. All right. Should I bring this one down to GZ? Put it on there. All right. Shift Z for solid. See how we're looking. One for front view. Shift Z. Cool kind of goes up right there. Seems to follow that pattern there. All right. And while I'm here, I guess I can try to pull up this front part here. See what I got there. And maybe this one too. Shift Z. G Y. And just pull it up a bit. Shift Z. Cool. They make the front there look a little better. And uh, we'll work on that later. But I wanted to get the overall shape here of the, uh, the helmet there. Uh, maybe I want to pull this one up some more. GZ. The corner there a little sharper. And there we go. All right. And then I'm going to go over to editing mode with uh, this part here selected. And we'll bring that up as well. Tab key. GZ. Oh, let's bring up this whole section here. There we go. <clears throat> GZ, we're going up. And we'll put that right about there. And then we'll have to apply one of these modifiers, which is going to be the first one right here. And you can only apply in object mode. Click here, apply. And there we go. 
tab key, and now I can bring down this other section here for the uh, the rest of it. R G Z, and there we go. R a little bit, and there we go. Shift Z, and we got it. Let's see how it looks over here. Yep, looking good, looking good. All right, so now we'll work on this back part. I'll bring in a cube, separate object, and just put it there in the back. And also mirror modifier, that bad boy. Mirror modifier, the whole thing. Cube. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Shift S. Selection to origin. Selection to. I don't think these are going to do it. Let's see, selection grid. Nope. Shift S. Coarser to world origin. There we go. And then Shift S. Selection to coarser. There we go. Now it's in the middle. Tab key, Shift Z. Select the left side there. X key. Oops. First, let me draw my center cut there. There we go. Drag select these here. X key, delete vertices. And what happened there? I think I hit the. There we go. Hit edges by accident. And activate mirror modifier. There we go. Activate clipping. And A to select all. Nine for opposite view. And I need a back view of this right here. So I'm going to duplicate it. So Shift D, Y, and put it right behind there, right there. And then hit Control 1 for back view. Shift Z. All right. Shift Z again. So you got that plane selected. So I'm in G, X, move it over here. Try to align it up. And it's kind of off, I can see there. See, it's kind of not flat. So I can try rotating it, try to flatten it out, make it flush with the ground there. And it's also the, the size is off, so here the width seems to fit, but the height there is a little bit off, so it's cool. I just kind of just need it for reference there. So let me select my cube. Here we go, three for right view. Sorry, control one for back view. Shift Z. You guys can see it. There you go. Scale it down, scale down this cube. GZ, bring it down. Shift Z for the wireframe. And let's see. Oh, let me turn on the keys right here. I think earlier I said Shift Z when I actually did GZ. Tab key, there we go. All right, let me select the top part here, bring it down. GZ. And right about there, Shift Z. See if it fits with the geometry of the back. So I also need to have it higher. <clears throat> so right about there, Control one Shift Z, and then this should be um, lined up with the back of the helmet here, GZ, and I have it, try to have it flush with the helmet, and I'll select the uh, the other side there and bring it in, GZ, oh, X, there we go, and we're clicking right there, and then I'm going to draw the geometry for this, uh, the outside of it there. Control R and right about there, and then Control R get a little thin one at the bottom. All right there looks good, and then the one on top is wider. I Me, mean, I'll put it right there where the uh, x-axis is at. There we go, Shift Z. This is what we're working with. Let me hide this middle plane here. I think it's this one, yep. And hide the one in the front. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Shift Z. I got the overall shape there, and my cube is super big, humongous, GY, and put it about, I'll just take it out a little bit more, then I'll adjust the rest of it in place, GY, so something like that, all right, so now I got to select this interface here, and we're going to extrude it inward for the inside of it there, so E, we're going in, how far, I don't know, whatever looks good. That's cool there, and scale it in a bit. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Actually, not scale it yet. We'll, scale it. we'll just leave it as is. Control one. Here we go. And for this pattern here, I'm actually just gonna draw it on this uh, on this face, and then I'll make a bunch of them there. All right. <clears throat> so I'm use cape for knife, and I'm gonna draw that somewhere on there. So let's see. I guess I could use that geometry right there. Just my own. The top looks kind of round, so maybe I won't use that. So let me just, uh, I'll trace over this one right here. Okay, for knife. 
So I'm going to click there and then go out about there and then go out and then right there and then right there, right there, enter. And now for the oops, I wanted to go down there, huh? undo. Let's try that again. So maybe I got to start out with the inside part. We'll see how it goes. All right, K for knife. We're drawing this one right here. I don't know which edge I got selected. I don't know. So I click there. Doesn't want to draw it. Click there. All right, that's all right. I'm going to still try to draw it from here. K for knife. Click. Click. Ah. So I'll have to loop cut that section then, huh? All right, Control R. Click. And there we go. And then Control R. Click for this top section. So it seems like it kind of goes inside the other one. Actually, no. Look, there's like a little bit of overlap. Right, there's a little gap in there. And then we'll control R up and down right here. There we go. Then I'll control R right here, up and down again, somewhere in the middle, so I can give it its curvature there. Vertex selection, Shift Z. I'll select the one here in the inside so I can pull it up. Control 1, Shift Z. And I'm going to pull that up, GZ, trying to get this, uh, this shape there. There we go. And then. I'll do the same with this over here. So just like that whole edge. Control 1. GZ. I'm pretending we're going up right here. GZ. There we go. Not those. There we go. GZ. And somewhat of that shape we got there. Cool. All right. So I'm going to select these faces. Here, Shift Z. There we go. So like these faces there, and then oh, forgetting a part. I need that little cut there. That's right here. So that one looks like a candy with the knife tool. Okay, for knife. Click in there and going across. Click enter. Cool. That worked there. All right. There we go. So now I got that shape, and I'm just gonna Shift D Y. Pull that out. Boom. And then extrude out. Boom. See, now I got that shape. And I'm just going to hit the L key right here. <clears throat> and get rid of some of that extra geometry there. So that's going to be X key. Limited dissolve. There we go. I don't need all that extra stuff. I just use it uh, to draw this right here. L key on this one. All right. I'm going to bring it in. So maybe I should start out at the top. Control 1. And... Or there's a few of those, so I don't know how many there are. I'm not going to count them. I'm just kind of using this to eyeball it. GZ. And I'm going to tuck one in there somewhere towards the top. So it's partially sticking out. Something like, like she goes all the way in. I would just twist it like that. Make it a little wider. SX. I'm going to go Shift Z, see how it looks so far. GY, we're going in. All right. Control 1, zoom in. That's looking pretty fire. Alright, let's see, lines up with that. Alright, and then maybe I'll tilt it a bit and make a few more. Maybe also make it a little thinner. I'll bring it in some more. GY. Actually, I'm just going to take in the whole thing, aren't I? So let's see around there and then this part doesn't seem to be too deep in there so i'm gonna have to bring in this wall as well so let's see what's a good good distance in there gy L key there <clears throat> and then i'm gonna rotate it out shift z and just rotate it out a bit like this so it looks like it's kind of at an angle like they're kind of stacked on top of each other. And there we go. Then later I'll tuck in this whole thing in there. And I should probably still go out some more. I'll go about there. GY. And there we go. L key. 
on the right so shift DZ put one below it for how far below <clears throat> and all right let's see how far the gap is between these all right good distance there but I should have a gap up there above to make that visible GZ so something like that all right cool and nothing sticking out of the sides of there for one shift DZ about right there let me see if I can hit shift R to repeat that same action yeah cool all right and one more in there does it fit <clears throat> if they don't all fit it's cool I can just scale them all down along the Z make them fit a Z uh, let's see some quality there yeah, let's shift them up let's see and then GZ pull them up The last one look like oh the last one is uh didn't even go all the way down so then I can undo this and let's see I can pull them down and delete that bottom one GZ uh, something like that GZ going up and select this one here L key let's keep delete vertices and that's looking neater there <clears throat> all right so select this whole thing a three for right view gy bring it in how much should this thing stick out does it stick out by much does it it's just back view over here say the side view homies here is in the way so it seems to be in looks like the helmet goes in and that's Excel. Who's gonna know? They're not gonna know. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. In this case, bro, they're not gonna know. <clears throat> All right, let's see. But I can select this part of the helmet and bring it in, so I think I'll do that. So tab key, select this helmet tab key, and I'm gonna select this face right here, and maybe the next one, and we're just gonna bring that in. G Y. Make a little flatter there. Well, maybe just the middle one, because the other one was kind of messing it up, right? GY. All right, it's in. <clears throat> and how does the overall helmet look like? Make sure they didn't distort the helmet too much. Let's look and get in. Still looks smooth. Cool. Let me see if any of that is coming through there. Gee, why? I'm gonna go out just a bit, just a tad there. <clears throat> All right. Cool, cool, cool. And then I guess I could just adjust this part here, bring it down some. All right, so face selection, and we're going to bring these down here. Control one for back view, and then O, oh, G, Z. And then how does it fit in there? Let's bring back that image. Shift Z. And are they the same width? Oh, the bottom one is a little bit wider. Cool. So we're good there. And seems to be tapered it seems to be kind of like rotated down a bit let's see what does the side of it look like I think it's this one this one right here three shift z gy All right, something like that. <clears throat> there we go. And it looks like that back part, the top part of the back sticks out more than everything else. And it looks like I can't see. Let me just hide the the helmet here. And the cube, cube sphere. You can see some of that from the 
uh, little ridges there on the back. So let's select that and let's check it out. All right, <clears throat> Shift Z. And this face, the top part seems to stick out some more. And so I want to add a loop cut in here so I can just pull out the top part there. Control R. And it's not going to happen. I'll have to draw it here. All right. And also, let's see. Control 1. K for knife. And we're cutting it in right here. Enter. There we go. <clears throat> it's like this part there. And I'm just going to extrude it out more than everything else. Uh, something like that. And then these I'm going to extrude inward. Or just pull them back. Let me see what happens if I pull them back. GY. And turn off portion right in GY. And expose that stuff in the back a little bit. Yeah, it looks good. And then maybe I could uh, do something with this section here. Just rotate it a bit. That's why I make a little more narrow. There you go, it's looking cool, coolio. All right. So in our next video, video six, we are gonna smooth this out right here and smooth this one out too as well. So it looks a little something like uh, our other helmet over here. There we go. This back part, we don't gotta smooth that out. That that. That should look something like that, right? But well, we will smooth out this earpiece here and the uh, the crest up top and fix up some of the topology here on the uh, helmet. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you uh, you like the video, you want to keep supporting more stuff like this, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Anything helps. Hit the notification bell if you already subscribed. Have an awesome day. Bye. Thank you.